time it is oh yes i'm your boy matt p and i'm your boy jeremy chase and this is parking lot parables we back yes sir Coming and we black the last episode for the <laughs> black history month yes sir yes sir yeah man we do hope everybody's having a good week so far oh you yeah know, mm-hmm. trying times high, high yeah. gas prices man who you telling like it doesn't skyrocket i'm like these so-and-so's yeah man i'm like boy boy you know what this puts me back in the mind back when i was 18 years old mm-hmm. i was working at the movie theater uh the dark knight had just came out i believe uh, yeah it was around that time the dark knight had just dropped Dang. the gas prices was 4.99 the reason man. i said because I, I saw a gas station earlier today uh like right in the downtown center of Atlanta, it was uh three ninety nine. Mm-hmm. I was like, boy, that that pressure. You know? like, I was like, if yeah. it's that high here, then I already know in certain other places it's already four plus. You know, yes, it's, it's crazy. So, uh, you know, you know, let us yeah. let us uh, just pray for these people. It's over here tweaking with these gas prices, man. Oh yeah, bro. Get it together. Got to get it together. Yeah, you know, man. So, uh, what we talking about today, bro? All right, bro. So, you know, we we talked a lot about you know different aspects of Black history, but you know, I'm I think me and you both in the mindset of we gonna be making history, and our children gonna be making history, and everyone that surrounds us gonna be making history. So, I believe we should talk about why we should still make history as a culture. Like, you know, I know for me, um, I got a legacy to own up to. You know, I want to leave, like, I think uh, one person said, I don't know who quoted this, um, but they said, like, if someone remembers you, you never truly die. You know, so like I'm like you know I want to be you know remembered as you know impacting the culture making a change bringing you know better to the earth but yeah man I think it's time that you know we start off the mindset of it's not just about me it's about you know leaving a legacy and I think we as black people we gotta do better at that we gotta do way more better at that but you know yeah, we gonna get there yeah, absolutely, absolutely, bro. Well said, and uh, I believe that you know it. Like it's like the song Michael Jackson song said, you know, it's about the man in the mirror. Everybody has to be accountable for their own actions. Oh yeah, definitely. You know, I get right. Once I get right here, you know, very right. mm-hmm. all right. Yeah, everybody has to be accountable for their own actions. Like think about mm-hmm. the consequences behind your actions. You know. Yeah. Right. Like, you know, there was a point in my life where I didn't care what I did or said. Mm -hmm. You know, I didn't care who it impacted. I didn't care what anybody thought. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, to be quite honest, I still don't pretty much, I pretty much still don't care what people think (laughs) to be, uh, but I mean, but I am more self-conscious about what I say Mm -hmm. or more or less how I say it. Oh, yeah, yeah. If something needs to be said, I'm going to say it. I mm-hmm. think, but uh, you know, I am. You know, what age, what getting older has taught me, you know, is that you know, as we mature, you know, you want to be more uh, mindful of how you say things. Yeah, you yeah. Know? Mm-hmm. You know, um, life, and I believe, um, you know, when we 
as we as we grow in God and everything, you know, He gives us wisdom. Yeah. If we mm-hmm. ask for it. Yeah. You know, oh yeah. Got to he ask. Gives, <laughs> he gives in abundance. Mm-hmm. You know, He gives freely. Yeah. You know, so we use that wisdom appropriately. Mm-hmm. You know, so um, yes, and what we was talking about earlier, it's it's like what we were talking about earlier. You know, we're at that age now where. You know, our lives are still ahead of us. You know? mm-hmm. Yeah. But oh, at yeah. the same time, time. But at the same time, we're at that age where I feel like we're also at an age where we should be thinking about, even though, okay, even though me and you don't have kids. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, we're thinking about what we want to leave behind for them. Because what would, what have we learned in 2022 so far? People exactly. in their early 30s and late 20s have been dropping like flies. Out oh, here. yeah. Mm-hmm. Automatically. You know, I'd be like, dog. Yeah, like from, I mean, in the first thing people, the first two things people are saying is either drug related or, I don't know, for the for the conspiracy theorists, people are like, oh, they got the jab, you know, they got mm-hmm. that jab. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, but I mean, things happen though. People get into car accidents. Yeah, exactly. You know, um, people, um, they get robbed and shot. Mm-hmm. You know, I ain't no telling what. You know oh, what yeah. I'm saying? So, like, you when you when we were younger we didn't think about dying oh, you no, know what man. i'm saying you know we yeah. thought we was immortal yeah like we couldn't be beat like you know we were fearless yeah and in a very foolish manner mm-hmm. but man it takes a lot to humble yourself but what's that humbling comes your whole mindset will change yeah hopefully because mm-hmm. i ain't yeah. trying ain't no shade to, uh, some other people that I know, but I do know yeah. some folks who have not changed. Oh yeah, I feel you, you bro. Know, and it, it, as much as it's sad as me, you know, mm-hmm. I can't. What I've another thing I've learned, you know, is that you know, brother to brother, like mm-hmm. I can be like brother. You need to tighten up. Oh know? yeah, yeah, is you know, but I can't dwell on that, you know, because yeah. I have my own legacy yeah. to be involved with. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Man, one thing I'm learning is that, like, whenever you, like, either if you are a mentor or playing that role or, like, just encouraging someone, like, let the chips fall what they may, where they may and move on. Because I know sometimes it, it can, you can really pour yourself into someone's life who really ain't trying to hear it. And, like, if they ain't go getting it from you, they probably getting it from somewhere else anyway. So just know that you're not the only voice that can impact them. Like there are plenty of people. I think even us growing up, like it was hard for us to hear our parents, you know, hard to hear our parents. But, you know, you have someone that, you know, like a cool teacher or uncle you look up to say the same thing and we get it way better from them. So I think, you know, when it comes to us making history and, you know, becoming vessels that God used to do great things, I think that we have to still be okay that some people ain't going to hear us. You know, we ain't going to be the the change that they need. Like, it may come through someone else, and we should be okay with that, you know, because the result gets done. Yeah, it's not a fan. You know, life ain't like like the movies. Yeah. Can't help everybody. No, man. I mean, yeah. and unfortunately, the unfortunate truth is, like, if you're one of those people who like to help people, mm-hmm. you're going to learn real quickly. Well, I don't know. So many people may learn the hard way. You yeah. You, for the most part, you can't. You probably can't help most of the people that yeah. you be trying to, like, because, like, mm-hmm. different life circumstances, like, people, yeah. you know, they might be hard. They might be find it hard to trust people or, mm-hmm. you know. Maybe they just headstrong. Whatever the yeah. case is, like you can really stress yourself out trying to oh, yeah. break yeah. and like bend over backwards to like yeah. try and get people on the right track. Yeah, you gotta protect your peace at the end of the day as well. You know, I think like sometimes we be so focused on others because we don't like ourselves, so we dive into fixing everybody else's problems, and mm. we don't like you said earlier. We don't look at the man in the mirror. You know, because we too busy, you know, checking someone else's situation, trying to be Superman or Superwoman or whoever to them. Mm-hmm. So I think, you know, you got to have that balance. You know, don't overextend yourself. You know, if something brings you a jo- exhaustion, like cut it. You know, it's okay to say no to people. 
like <laughs> I think you know a lot of people think you know even like especially when you get like successful people mm-hmm. think like you supposed to just be giving to everybody and you know just at a beck and whim you just fix all their problems like no if 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 holy spirit ain't lead you to do all that then no i think you know we still have to have that common sense to know like you know no you know if people really really trying to you know better themselves because you can't even waste your time with the knowledge you give you know but you know you just have to to vet them out um and sometimes it will be people who you know god has led you to help but at the same time they're not going to receive it from you like some people got to get it multiple times you know it took us multiple times to get you know where we are so i you know you gotta stand extend that same grace but yeah man like you know i think we just gotta lay the groundwork for others um get out of this crab in a in a bowl mentality or bucket mentality and like really just be for each other like it don't take too much to root someone on like i think a lot of people are seeing it like this now that you be having strangers root for you more than like the people that's for you and i'm like well it's halfway true you know like you probably have a couple ride or dies but like people who've been like friends for years they don't be celebrating you the way you know everybody else do um and i think you know it just shows us that you know what our reach is not limited by who we know so you know keep on pushing you know take that groundwork for the legacy you want to leave and keep it going yeah most definitely most definitely and you know don't don't be afraid to be real with yourself Mm -hmm. you know be be real with yourself um be like I, i remember a time where um I, I, I don't know if I would say I was afraid. Yeah, I probably would say I was afraid to say, mm-hmm. like, what I didn't want to do. Yeah. You know, to be yeah, real. Yeah. Like, there's certain stuff you don't want to do. Like, um, yeah. like mm-hmm. you don't want to go to school right now. Yeah. You know? Mm-hmm. Or, you know, like, be like, yo, I really want to do my music. You know, people, mm-hmm. like, music, that's a, that's a real big one right there. Because, oh, like, yeah, yeah. Like when it comes, especially in the music industry, anything really in the entertainment industry, for yeah. the most part, like what you have to deal with is like people telling you that, you know how many, you know how hard it is to get into the industry. Yeah. Or, oh yeah. You know you how many hear. people it's oversaturated. You know, mm-hmm. like everybody and their mama trying to get into the industry. You know. Yeah. You got a yeah. hundred other people doing what you're doing right now. But I ain't them. That was before mm-hmm. social media. Oh yeah. Now. Now you don't even need them to say it. Now all you got to do is hop on IG. Oh yeah, like, IG is the home of the entertainment. Like in IG, yeah. TikTok too, mm-hmm. but TikTok is really more for like that trendy type stuff. Yeah, I feel like. But man, like, and you know what's crazy, bro? Even feels like video games. Who would have thought that you could be making millions playing video games? Just, like and like and the crazy part is you ain't really got to be that good. That's no, that's what be tripping. You just got to be probably a little bit entertaining. And yep. sometimes they don't even have like people voice it over. They just be watching people play. Yeah. Like Get so killed. so like if you enjoy doing something and you want to share that, like do it. Yeah. You know, you don't have to do it specifically for fame or for money. Like, you know, just do it. Like just start out and do it and then like let the chips fall where they may if it becomes profitable cool but if you still having a good time sharing you know what you have continue to do it continue to do it because you never know like it may take one person looking at your stuff and be like oh snap that's dope that does become profitable like i think we sow the seeds in our own lives by like consistency man like when you're yeah. consistent with something that you love to do and you know want to do, like it 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 opens that door for you. Yeah, like absolutely. Sure. And this is something that I I've come to realize that I'm guilty of. You know, if I look out, if I look and be like, oh man, why does it seem like things really ain't taking off for me like that? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Look at how consistent you are. Yeah. Like 
to be oh, yeah. honest, be be very transparent with yourself mm-hmm. about how consistent you are really about not just putting content out, but uh, yeah. how consistent you are in working on your craft, how yeah, consistent bro. are you are in practicing, how mm-hmm. consistent are you in doing research on what, yeah. on what everybody's doing right now and what's mm-hmm. hot. Not, exactly. I mean, and be honest, like, I mean, I don't necessarily believe in going with the trend. Yeah, yeah. But, um, but you do want to like see what's out there, we'll see what everybody's yeah. listening to right now mm-hmm. at the same time. Definitely. You know, man. Be- <laughs> and it's crazy you say that because like we all have a habit of starting some something and not finishing, whether it's like exercising, whether it's like you said doing music whether it's writing whatever man there's so many different things that we be starting and start stopping and starting like man like just like finish the first thing you know make a deal to yourself why is consistency so hard sometimes man that flesh that's all that is like all it takes is for me to not be tired once to keep me from going to gym for two months straight (laughs) <laughs> like, bro, I'm telling you, it'll do it. It will do it's it. It's crazy, that's why, man. It's, it's that's crazy. Why, that's why you gotta push, man, and like not beat yourself up when you do, you know, catch yourself slipping. You know, the problem comes when you don't even see that you slipping. But you know, yeah, no, you boy, see. hey, you ain't you ain't lying right there. If you can't mm-hmm. even see that you falling off, yeah, mm, yeah, man, yeah, you, you Just, down bad. As, they, okay. as the kids say, down bad, boy. Look, I mean, <laughs> shoot. Be as big as a refrigerator. Yeah. And speaking of which, I want to give into, um, give a shout out to John Standard. Um, he was the first one to find a way to improve the design of refrigerators. So at first, you know, it was a non-electrical d- design. Blessings so to you, John. He used, yeah, he used a manually filled ice chamber and chilling and was granted a patent in June 14, 1891. So oh. if, you, if you got fruit in your refrigerator, thank a black man. John yeah. Standard, he, he hooked that up for us. And the thing, you got all these companies now making refrigerators. I can't oh. think of their names. Oh, but Please. Whirlpool. Uh, oh, Whirlpool. Shoot, you even got Samsung. All, Sam, all yeah, the phone Samsung. companies making dog old refrigerators. I'm yeah, like, LG. Yeah. I'm like, dog. I thought about getting an LG refrigerator. I was like, oh, I should yeah. give me an LG refrigerator and LG TV. Man. And see if I can connect them jokers. Bruh, they got refrigerators nowadays where the whole thing is like pure digital. I'm like, dog. I like, can believe it. It'll show you what's in there before you even open it. I'm like, dog. I can be- definitely believe that. I saw that in Walgreens the other yeah, day. Yeah, like, I think you can get an app and it shows you at, like where you at before you get home. Yeah. I was like, well, yeah, I, can, I can definitely believe that. I went to a Walgreens and each, each like, frozen department glass door. Yeah. Had, like, on, on the other side, it had, like, ice cream. So you see a big old spoon scooping ice cream on yeah. the door. Mm-hmm. Like I was like, when did they install these? Look. Now, what would make me mad if they show that big old scoop of ice cream and ain't nothing behind it? <laughs> you let that me open that door. That was the case in one door, actually. That thing was looking pretty look, sick, boy. Like, look, I would have been heated. Like, oh, y'all, y'all. Oh, this is what y'all doing, huh? We see, yeah. If for you, anybody who's just tuning in, we talking about, we are really just talking about immortalizing, you know, the Black history, mm-hmm. and really like, and by doing that, you were talking about like what we can do, and we're really just doing. This is really a gut check, yeah, for all for us and anybody who's watching. Oh yeah, you know, check yourself. Mm-hmm. What are you doing? And even yeah. if you ain't black, it's all good, you yeah. know. History, like, because the point is really. It's not necessarily about being black or white. Yeah, no. We're just talking about doing positive things mm-hmm. to impact the world. Yeah. And leaving a positive legacy that will, will impact the world. Oh, yeah. That's positive. it. That's, that's, that's really all it's about. Mm-hmm. You know, pretty much, man. Yeah, man. I, I mean, that's really all it's about, man. So, uh, mm-hmm. I think uh, when we first started the podcast, what was our main thing? Wasn't it consistency? Oh yeah, yeah. 
consistency, yeah. bro. And, and look I at think, us. Uh, I think it's I'm like, gonna get back on that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, bro. I mean, like, I think one of the key things about consistency that a lot of people miss is accountability. Like, when you have that person that depends on your consistency, like, it, it, like, you can't mess up. So, like, bro, if it's weight goals, I'll hit that with you. Because, look, I've been skipping out on the gym. Yeah, like, you hey, about bro, to get you... married, though. So, exactly. Yeah, we got stuff. We look, got stuff. Like, damn, I'm, I'm, try, I'm trying to get it get it together. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, you get them, um, uh, what, what, uh, what Tony Burger say? Trying to um, distribute those the premium s- pumps. You know, <laughs> premium <laughs> pumps. Okay. <laughs> Look, I'm trying to tell you, you man. Don't wanna, you don't want to be like Big Ja out here and having to redeem your stroke or nothing like that. Oh, no. That, that'd no. be that hurt, boy. Okay. No. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to get that together. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah. Expectations. So, yeah, we out here, you know. Yes, so, sir. anybody who's watching, just ask yourself, like, um, what what have you done? Or what, what, what is your thought process being mm-hmm. about leaving a legacy? You know, yeah. I mean, because they, I mean, don't think about it in, you know, for some people who are maybe a little on the selfish side, we're like, I ain't thinking about people mm-hmm. after I leave here. I'm thinking about exactly. me. Uh-huh. Well, I mean, yeah, it's all intertwined. Yeah. When you really think about it, you know, Pretty much. Yeah. what you do while you're on this side of heaven mm-hmm. will impact people after you leave. Oh, yeah. Everywhere you go, you man. Know, like, the life you matters. live. Mm-hmm. You know the choices you make in the life you live. It don't. It doesn't just impact you. It impacts the people around you. Oh yeah, bro. So definitely. I challenge anybody who's watching to think about the choices you're making. Mm-hmm. Try and think about the choices you're making, like what the consequences are. And think about what you want to do with your life. Oh yeah, yeah. Think long and hard. Yeah, long and hard because you know tomorrow is never promised. Nope. And here's something else to think about. Every day. For us, it's black history. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Every day. Yesterday is considered black history, as far as I'm yep. concerned. Oh yeah, definitely. So, <laughs> and I and I, uh, well, no, I worked yesterday. So, you know, there you go. Mm-hmm. Love to see a black man out here getting to it the right way. Oh yeah, yeah, man. It's encouraging. It's encouraging. Yeah. So yeah, when I see, when I see um when I see uh I think I think one thing I might start doing. I don't know. I want to make it weird, though, when I see young black men out here working, man. I just encourage them to be like, man, keep doing what you're doing, bro. Yeah, just keep it up, young blood. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we're at the age now. We can be like, <laughs> okay. we run into some keep little 17, 18-year-old. We can be like, yeah, uh, your little bro. You okay. with that little bro. Little bro, you doing your thing. I see yeah. you. I see yeah. you out here. <laughs> yeah. I love to see you. Keep doing it. Yeah, yeah. Sir. Like, ain't nobody say you had to be here forever. Just keep doing know. it the right way. Oh, exactly. I think that's uh, I think that's something I can probably do better. Just like, oh, I don't yeah. know. I don't really be just like trying to randomly encourage people and stuff like that. You know? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, shoot, you may start, bro. You never know. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. So, uh, I don't know. I'll just try and like get to know the person at first, at least, you know, and then get to the encouraging part. Yeah, yeah, I feel you. you. Know, seeing, seeing where they head at, cause mm-hmm. buddy might. I ain't trying to be funny, but he might, he might be working there, but then he might be slanging as soon as he get off. So I don't want to encourage Look. that. <laughs> right. <laughs> and, I ain't, try, ain't no talent. I ain't trying to encourage that. So, mm-hmm. ain't so no get, talent. Yeah, get to know, get to know him before I start with the encouragement speech <laughs> and all this other yeah. stuff. Yeah. I feel you. Yeah, you know some of these cats. You know, they be like, man. They'll be looking at you like, man, what the hell is this nigga talking about? Okay, straight up. <laughs> like, man, you could be going just, in like, man, you don't, you don't want to go that way. Yeah. <laughs> like, I tell you, man, when I was out here, not me, but when my homeboys was out here, I see my homeboys out here doing their thing, man. They all locked up now, cause. <laughs> <laughs> like, man, I'm trying to get on Twitch. Like, what you talking about? Hey. <laughs> I was like, oh, 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 my bad, my bad. You just, you just trying to twitch out here. All right, well, do your thing, man. Do your thing. <laughs> Real. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. So, uh, yeah, I think, I think, um, I th- 
this is how I know I'm mature now because for the longest it's, it was all about you know success and fame yeah. mm-hmm. now yeah. but now I'm thinking legacy yeah know. look man we're gonna have children we gotta yeah. leave something for them yeah I'm thinking legacy now like mm-hmm. like so because it's all part of the history game you know, oh yeah what, bro what we're talking about it's all entwined Mm-hmm. So yes, sir, it is. Yeah. But shoot, yeah, I ain't, that's all I pretty much got to say about it. Yeah, bro. same, bro. Yeah, just shoot, keep it, yeah, keep pursuing. So, yeah. Everybody, you know, everybody who's listening, if you're listening, just um, be think about your legacy. It don't, and it don't really matter how old you are, because no. I mean, what did they say? Uh, doggone. Colonel was like fifty something mm-hmm. when he started. Yeah, that before KFC he did thing. KFC. Shoot, it was a whole bunch of people that were older. Oprah, she you was know. like thirty something, In her forty late thirties. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I mean, being that being said, like you don't have to necessarily. It's not over for you if it doesn't happen in your twenties and thirties. Yeah. Yeah. Don't no. be controlled by time. Like even if you like old old. Don't be controlled by time. Cause yeah. you never know. Yeah, I swear, I look, man. After I seen this lady in her seventies start bodybuilding, bro, it's all oh, love. Yeah. From that oh, one. man, please, we got no excuse. A lady in her seventies start bodybuilding, and she's tight now. Dang, you know I'm talking about she tight. Like, mm-hmm. I was like, bro, ain't no excuse out here. Oh no, no. Like bodybuilding is probably one of the hardest things to do because it's more yeah. of a mint. Even though it is physical, mm-hmm. it's very much mental. Yeah, yeah. So, like, mm-hmm. I get, I give mad props, very much respect to them, but them cats, man, because like, oh yeah, that yeah, game. Facts. Oh, mm. I ain't with it. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. but uh, yeah, y'all be mindful of the legacies that you want to yeah. leave. Yeah. And stay away from the foolishness. Stay away from the foolishness. Speaking of which, y'all already know what time it is. Oh, yes. It is Miss, Miss Me, me with, with the, the foolishness. foolishness. Yeah, we out here. What, what we got, man? All right. So, <laughs> I'm going to give you the tagline before the actual line name of this. They said... A uh, Finnish country skier Remy Linden suffered some minor equipment damage during the last race of his Olympic debut. And it wasn't his first time either. So Buddy pretty much suffered a frozen penis at the 2020 Winter Olympics race. So <laughs> this guy was a skier. <laughs> Oh. I'm a pause right there. I'm a pause right there because he ain't skiing no more. <laughs> so he was a skier who um, ended uh, his Olympic debut with minor damage to his equipment. Um, so he's 24 years old. Um, he was doing a 50 kilometer race event and. You know, after the race was shortened to 30, he headed to the locker room where he used used the heat pack to thaw out the affected areas. Boy, that's not done, son. Man, when they started to warm up after the finish, the pain was unbearable. OV, boy. Said he was still shaking. So a day later, he shared on his story, um, saying that, yes, the most shocking moment of the year. And, like, yeah, man, he he was frozen. Most chilling but, moment. Like he was frozen and couldn't let it go. <laughs> oh, I mean, aren't there uniforms supposed to like prevent that or something? Like, aren't there? I mean, to I, you would think so. Like, like I've never heard of that happening before until. And and bro, this ain't mm-hmm. his first year. The same thing happened last year. So either he not. Oh, he wearing, must not want it. He not he probably not wearing the regulation stuff, cause ain't no way I'm gonna be wearing everything if I'm being some cold. <laughs> like, 
I don't like cold for nothing. <laughs> but if I'm gonna be out there in them skin tight suits, give you a guarantee I'm gonna be <laughs> padded up. <laughs> Shoot, Boy, man. Somebody said when the frozen meat isn't in aisle 12. <laughs> <laughs> man, shoot. Mm. God, dog, man. Like, this is just crazy. Oh, man. Like, what? Bruh. He must not want it. Mm-mm. He what? can't want it. Ain't no way he want it. Well, like, the second time? The second yeah. time? Hope you feel warmer and get better. <laughs> Don't people talking about did it fall off? Bruh, that's uh that's permanent shrinkage right there. Yeah. I mean like, that doesn't much. I mean just imagine your thing throwing out like Well that's he done a, killed he done killed his sperm count. That's a different type of hard on that I don't want. <laughs> Mm-mm. Like, god dog, man. Mm-mm. God dog, boy, these people petty as that. <laughs> Talking about your team deserves a um, gold medal. <laughs> no, I don't. Should have you should have been taking better care. Mm-mm. It's so weird though, you know, like, like the heat down there is usually that's like usually one of the hottest places in the body. You know what I mean? I mean, yeah, yeah. So for him to freeze there, and yeah, like, you would think the fingers or something would freeze. Oh before yeah. That. And that's another thing. Like I saw some pictures. This man, he got his sleeves warmed up and all this other junk. Like. Damn. Man, I'm like, look, you keep on. It's gonna be <laughs> frozen for real. Mm. Mm. Bruh. Like, any man who done got, like, hit in the testicles or anything knows what's up. Like, look, man. Like, like, you ever. And my thing is. How are you not like? How is the movement not preventing that? Like, Bruh, it's, like <laughs> make how? it make sense, man. Like, like, it don't make sense at all. Cause ain't no way. Shoot, I'm a move if I'm cold. <laughs> I guess he ain't feel it in the first place, so he yeah, was just yeah, still. Yeah, he ain't, he ain't <laughs> tuck it good enough. You know what I mean? Man. Tuck it. You got to tuck it. You must have had that adrenaline. It's just. <laughs> <laughs> it took over on the inside, but didn't cover it out. <laughs> Shoot, man. <laughs> Said, <Sam> Buddy was. <laughs> God dog it. All right, well, hold on. Did he win? I don't even think he won. Oh, man. That's a that's a even bigger L right there, like you you risk frozen testicles and you ain't even win the fight, like yeah. Oh man, I hate I hate to see. Look, it. he placed forty five. He was in, He was Out in what? 40, 45th place. Oh Lord, he sucked. I don't care what it is, bro. If you gonna freeze like that, you might as well have sat out. Bro, he got the audacity to suck. Mm-mm. Well, <laughs> shut up! I was gonna say what well, he needs. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody else. <laughs> That's hey, a rub. Hey, look, that them days is long gone for him. <laughs> look, man, the way his mm-hmm. jump set up. <laughs> Shoot. Mm-hmm. Say his children gonna be loving Christmas. They come out them things. <laughs> kids gonna be like, well, why is it always? Why am I always cold? Uh-huh. Like, 
Joker's gonna come out like Loki from um, <clears throat> mm, just looking all blue. Sick. Mm. Yeah, chill, man. It, it's some crazy people out here, you know. Yeah. So now he gonna now that's gonna be his legacy. Forty mm-hmm. fifth place in blue balls. <laughs> Look, for the second time in a row, he he on the streak. <laughs> Although he can't, honestly, I'm kind of surprised he's still competing after losing the first time. Um, yeah, like bro, that badly, like. Like Cause you have to like, qualify for them things. Like, like it's one thing if he'd have won. Like, it'd be one thing if he had won. Like, got like top ten or five, top five. Yeah, this fool got <laughs> this fool got forty fifth place. He yeah. throwing Trump numbers. Pretty much, I'm like, God dog. And he he was mm. on his Donald Trump. I was like, yeah. bro. Yeah. Oh Bruh dang. <laughs> I ain't mean to scroll, but this right here is funny. Kanye West just shared a list of everyone he's beefing with. Bro. <laughs> Taylor Swift. Did you Swift. see uh did you see Nike, that, um, Kim that, K that show on Netflix? Oh no, I ain't seen it yet. Oh. Uh, me either. I probably won't. I ain't gonna mm. hold you. Yeah. Miss you. Yeah, man. Like, people just be out here doing whatever. And I'm like, man. Whatever. Whatever. And I'd be like, look. <laughs> just this big trash. But it is what it is, you know? <laughs> if it ain't going to be well, nothing else. Well, yeah, it is what it was. <laughs> Shoot. And it's going to be that if it ain't going to be nothing else. For sure. Okay. I'm trying to tell you. Yeah, I'm, mm-hmm. We live and we learn and all that other stuff, what they say. Yeah. Yeah, I'm still you, bro. Let you. Yeah, yeah if you trash. want to follow me, you can follow me at Matthew Priest on Facebook, Matthew underscore E underscore Priest on Instagram, and I'm President of NPO, Snapchat, and Twitter. Oh, yeah. If you want to follow me, you can follow me at The Chase Harder on all social media platforms. We want to say again, for the last time, Happy Black History Month. Yeah, happy, happy Black, Black History, History Year. Month. Yes, sir. Think about your legacies. Mm-hmm. Positive legacies. Yes, Don't sir. be trash out here. Don't do it. Don't do it. Because we're going to talk about you. Right mm-hmm. here at Park Lot Parables. Every Wednesday at 11. Yes, sir. If we find out about it, please believe mm-hmm. it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Once again, I am Matt P. And I'm Jeremy Checks. One time. Yes, sir.